guys i am back with a new topic that is a clinical management of ac by a ratio what does it means 4 is to 1 basically every diopter of a conversion i need a four diopter of a convergence so what is the definition of ac by a ratio is that the measurement of convergence induced by accommodations per diopter of accommodation the normal value of ac by a ratio is 4 is to 1 what is the purpose of ac by a ratio is to to determine the change in accommodative convergence that occur when the patients accommodate or relax the accommodate by a given amount methods of measurement of ac by a ratio first is heterophoria method and the second is a gradient method so let's begin with the heterophoria method this heterophoria method is a very most important method so based on the formula ac by a ratio is equals to ipd in centimeter plus nfd in meter by heterophoria for near minus heterophoria for far where you can see that ipd is equals to interpapillary distance in centimeter and nfd is a near fixation distance in meter where hn is a near fourier where hf is a far fourier so we can donate also here you can see the isotropia is noted by the plus line and exotropia is noted by the minus lines so here with a given one example that 60 mm of ipd if a patient is a two prism diopter of exotropia at a distance and 10 prism diopter of a exotropia at near at a 40 cm so based on the formula we can put all the values and we will find out the what is the values of ac by a ratio so this is a very important condition when patient having high ac by a ratio that is a isophoria at near generally responds well to a plus lenses if the if the same degree of isophoria what associates treated with normal or low ac by a ratio treatment approach would be a including with a prism correction or vision therapy or both we can use induce both prism as well as vision therapy so coming back to the gradient method ac by a is equals to l minus o divided by d where the l is equal to deviation with a addition lens where o is equal to deviations with additional without the additional lens where the d is equal to adaptive power of additional lens there are two different way that is stimulating and relaxation is stimulating with a con minus lens that is a minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 where the relaxes in the convex lens with a plus 1 plus 2 and plus 3 now the prisms ocular deviations with a prism cover test the gradient method is inaccurate as compared to the heterophoria method because it does not take into the account the patient's interpapillary distance here is a one example of gradient method as we know the formula ac by a ratio is equals to l minus o divided by d so when we diagnose a person having high ac by a ratio and low ac by a ratio basically high or low ac by a ratio which is used in a binocular anabolisms that is a convergence axis and divergence axis having high ac by a ratio whereas in convergence insufficiency and divergence insufficiency having a low ac by a ratio so here is a one example of a gradient method which is given here so here is some questions which is given below so i request you to please solve it and comment on a comment box